An in business low revenue would constrain implementation of the 2020 budget. Minister of Finance, Budget and Planning, Mrs. Zainab Ahmed, said on Thursday. She noted that 44% of the projected revenue would come from all related sources, while the remaining 56% is projected from the non oil sector. According to her, because the implementation of the budget will start on January 1st, the operation of the 2019 budget has been terminated. There will be no release of capital funding henceforth. The minister spoke on Thursday during the breakdown of the budget. She explained that the government would do its best to improve the gross domestic product growth rates to 7%. Joining me live now in the studio is Jeremy. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. Yes, sir. <clears throat> I'm sure you certainly already know that in the last 20 years, this is the first time we're actually starting a new year with uh, you know, the budget implementation within a uh, fiscal year. So what's your take on this? Uh, I'm, I'm, frankly, I'm excited. I'm excited that uh, at least we're getting something right. Okay, it, it, it's a step in the right direction. So mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm trusting that having put our best foot, foot forward, uh, everything else should fall in line. I'm praying, I've, 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 I've been able to look at the budget. I'm praying that everything from implementation to execution, everything should fall in line because, because every Nigerian will be better off for it. That's the truth. We'll, we'll, we'll be better off for it. So, so this, should be, this should be like our Christmas bonus. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, and then um, within the sh medium, short to medium term, or based precisely the medium term, what are expectations with this new development? Now, uh, having, 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 having referred, to, referred to the budget as a, a sustainable growth budget, I'm, I'm expecting, I'm, I'm, looking at, I'm looking at a good percentage of this, of this budget covers uh, the non-oil sector. Yes, fifty-six percent. Fifty-six percent. Now, if if the non-oil sector, that's that's, I'm looking at our SMEs playing a huge role in that. Mm. They are they are a major contributor to our GDP. Now, if our SMEs in 2020 scale up their businesses, you're looking at huge employment generation. Figures. You, you, you're looking at huge job creations, uh, uh, more, more, more people be, being employed from, by SMEs, mm -hmm. not, not, not multinationals now, not, not government, not civil service. No, I'm talking about M MSMEs now. Okay, so this would have a direct impact on our GDP for sure. Mm. For sure. MSMEs just need, they, 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 just, need, they just need a, a, a platform like this to ride on. Okay. There's a platform like this to ride on. And if everything goes well with this with implementation of this budget, I'm extremely hopeful. I'm, I'm hoping I can come back uh, uh, by, by this time next year and say, yes, this we did it. Yes. This was a good start yes. to kick off the year. Yes. And in terms of our revenue catch up, we've seen a reoccurrence in our inability to meet up with our projected revenue at the end of you know, each fiscal year. What exactly should you expect any form of um, improvement following the fact that now the budget has been approved and we should expect you know, kick-starting the new year with it? Okay. Now, the, the budget being approved is just one side of the coin. Okay. It's everything else boils down to funding and implementation and ex ex execution basically because if we cannot if we cannot generate the kind of the, the revenue we require to fund this budget the celebration that we are having that the budget was passed would be short-lived like we would just be celebrated for nothing because at the end of the day it's down to implementation and implementation can happen successfully without adequate funding. But then some people, are cons some people would say to you that we really don't even have a debt problem, that it's a revenue problem. And from where I sit or where I stand, there are, quite, there are a number of bottlenecks and 
you know, loopholes that still need to be filled. Right, 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 rightfully so, because uh, our revenue, our, rev our revenue in Nigeria can, the revenue the federal government generates can handle our budgets. We, we, we don't even need to go a borrowing or, or looking outside. If we can seal up some of these loopholes, we can seal up some loopholes where, I've, uh, where, where the revenue that have been generated are going out from. Mm -hmm. would have enough to fund our budget without even borrowing. We'd have excess, as a matter of fact. So if these loopholes are sealed up, we'd fund our budget stress-free. All right, thank you so much. Cost of time, this is all we can have. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.